Hello? Hi. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome back, my dreamers. I am your host, Anna. Today is a Dollar Tree haul, and everything is a dollar twenty-five each. I have lots to share with you. I do. And um I was working in the room today here, so I'm a little I'm a little tired, but I do have some news for you for the people that just come to see my Dollar Tree hauls. I encourage you to um I have some news, but first I want to say this. I encourage you to go visit my other uh, videos. Uh, I do a wide range of other things besides just hauling stuff. And I do try-ons. I do get readies with me. Those are when you put on makeup. I share my dollhouse and miniatures. I'm going to try to do a video this weekend. I just dropped two videos doing walkthroughs for a dollhouse miniature, two different dollhouse miniature magazines. And some of the furniture that was in those magazines, they were on Timu. And I put the links down where you can find them, girl. Yes, I did. And all, all other kinds of things. So I hope you decide to join in and I'll be getting back into prepping as well. So make sure you don't miss out. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, the first two things I'm going to talk about that are kind of big and I want to get them out of the way. We are talking about the trash cans. Yes, they brought back these great um, basket weave trash cans. They did. And um, they got them in four different colors, which is awesome. This is the mob. This will be here for my craft room. And then I got a gray for the boys room. Two of them. These are also great if you're a parent with kids that go to school. These are great for, excuse what I'm about to say, they're great for throw up buckets because they're solid and they're plastic. They're nice and deep, but not too deep. And I would we use these for those as well. <laughs> so and they're easy to clean. They're easy to clean. So um, these are fantastic. And look, it has a great, you see that basket weave? Really pretty basket weave. And a nice detail because it's actually finished nicely here. It's not like a sharp edge. It's actually bent over, as you can tell right there. And then it finishes off here. So nothing will tug. Your Dollar Tree bags will fit nicely in here as well. If you use them for trash bags, you know, like we do. So I wanted to talk about that. Oh, and I bonus. I have to, I got to show you this bonus. Wait, I got to show you the bonus. Wait, I got to lean back, lean back. Five and below. Okay. I have to show you this because I have to wrap. This is for my kids school. And I wanted to show you, you know, just the three things that I picked from there. Again, this is for five and below. This stuff was five dollars. So they had the a build your own plush buddy. These are going to be gifts for their class. Again, five dollars at five and below. And it has like the little birth certificate thing, and then they get to stuff it. Yeah. So that's that's one. And put that there. Then I got that. It says Too Cute Christmas. It's like a coloring book with the little markers. Really nice. And then the last thing I got from there from Five and Below um, was this. This is the laser block. So it does light up and it's a shark. And it fits all um, brand names apparently. And it has LED power block that gives it that light feature. So, you know, five and below, there are five and below moved into a bigger space, which is like, I'm sorry, I got it in there, which is like really cool. And so they got a whole lot more stuff. So this is for my kids class. I got to wrap them up today. Just had to share that. I did. And then the little girl wanted LOL stuff. And I was able to find this in my last haul. I put those there for gifts. I found that in my last haul. The LOL gift set with the two lip balms and two nail polishes. So that actually has to go in there too. Let me put that in there. That's for the gift. Okay. And now let's get started with Dollar Tree. We're going to start off with foodie finds because, you know, I'm all about food during these uncertain times. It's really important for us to prep up our homes and our pantries to have the things that we need when things get tough and things get tight financially. So here we go. They brought back the Sunco Quick Oats and they have the old fashioned oats as well. I picked up the Quick Oats. This is a great shelf stable item. Um, you know, 
this will last you a very 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 long time as long as you keep it in a cool um in a cool shaded dark place you know um it's great for that and if you want to do it even longer term you technically could you could just put this in the in smaller batches maybe um put them in the what do you call it a food saver throw them into a freezer for a couple of days then take them out, let them get back to room temperature, make sure there's no moisture in them, and then tuck them away. Um, yeah, so you could do that too. So no preservatives, non-GMO, 100% vegan. And I said they have the old-fashioned. This is 16 ounces. Very good find. I picked up some of the Hungry Jack Original Pancake and Waffle Mix. This is 16 ounces. It is cheaper to get at the Dollar Tree than it is at the Walmart. Um, and this is just add water. That's all you need. It's just water. So this is a great one. This will feed a family of six for one whole night. We're a family of six and when things get tight, this is a great go-to. If you have a dollar twenty-five, well, plus tax, um, you could feed your family with one box in water put a little jam, whatever you have at home, a little butter. If you have syrup, fantastic. They have syrup there too. That's not bad. Their syrup is not bad for $1.25. Okay. So Hungry Jack and name brand, you cannot go wrong. You honestly cannot go wrong. Um, I did buy these for our waters because we've been throwing back water like no one's business here. I got the Wilder Strawberry Lemonade and the A&W Root Beer. My kids love this stuff. That's not my jam. This one's my jam. So, yeah. And they're supposed to have, I think, six each, right? I can't see from here. No, this one has eight. This one's six, and this one has eight. Okay? So, there you go. That's a great thing to have. Also, it's great to have as part of your preps to break up the monotony. If you're drinking a lot of water, um, and you just need something different. Um, food fatigue is real. Drink fatigue is real as well. You want to keep everything as comfortable and as kosher as possible whenever you're going through any type of, um, you know, changes within your home, loss of job, injury, when everything gets really tight all of a sudden, but you want to keep everything feeling kind of normal. You know what I mean? Okay. So then I bought these. These are great. These are fa fantastic for the house. These are the 10 flour tortillas. Um, I make these several different ways, including with eggs and cheese. I make it with rice and chicken, with canned chicken that I make it in barbecue sauce, like the craft barbecue sauce and some additional seasonings. Um, you can use leftovers and then make it into, you know, a little tortilla. You could do so much with this. Okay. So I always like to buy those. Those are fabulous. I got some more of the Harry and David maple vanilla. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the maple vanilla so far, you guys. It's really good. So I highly recommend the maple vanilla. I haven't tried the other ones. I'm kind of just stuck on this right now. It's kind of weird. But these are really good. So I highly recommend it. It's so aromatic. It smells so good and tastes good, you know? Then I was, they brought back the Market Home Seasoned Collard Greens, you guys. Another fantastic shelf-stable item. Um, this is a Made in the USA product on top of that. Uh, you just can't go wrong. This tastes really good. We like this brand and my kids love it. And so does my husband. He likes it. Um, the best by date for this is 2020. I want to say 2025. Uh, no, 2026. 2026 shelf stable. Season collard greens, Margaret Holmes. Yes. So I got about four cans. I think I have four cans, if not five of those. Then, um... I picked up one of these, the premium white chocolate strawberry cream truffles. Now they do have them also in um, the chocolate, but I wanted to try the strawberry. They are GMO free, no preservatives. There you go. So that's a nice one to have. That's going to be for here for my, for my space here. Yeah. And thank you everybody who sent me cards. I have them all right here. <laughs> I was like, I can put them up in my little slats. I know I'm still stretching out this canvas. I kind of like pulled her down and all the creases are coming out. It's a beautiful, beautiful canvas that I got from Shein. Um, yeah. So for drinks, I got this from my husband. 
They had the Argo Green Tea Ginger Twist, 100% naturally brewed tea, only 40 calories, only 6 grams of sugar. Again, Green Tea Ginger Twist, I know. And then the other one is Hibiscus Tea Sangria, 100% naturally brewed by Argo. And this one only has 1 gram of sugar and 20 calories. So there you go. They have those available. That's for the hubs. That's for my honey bunny. Oh, and then I did find, everybody was sharing these. Um, Big and Bold Kettle Corn Mix, Duets Hot Cocoa Flavor and Marshmallow Flavor. A blend of two corn made kettle corns. I got one bag just for us to try it out because I don't know if it's going to be any good. Um, is non-GMO and gluten-free, which is really nice, and a certified mm -hmm. kosher. I just noticed that right now. That's nice. Dairy-free, cholesterol-free. Very good. And it's made in the USA. What? This is made in the USA, y'all. Whoop, whoop. There you go. So I picked that up for the boys to try out, too. Put that in a bowl. Put that in a bowl. Then um, <clears throat> I got more. I got more to share. I picked these essential large uh, storage bags. These are just like the name brand that are really expensive, but you can get it for $1.25. I normally like to get the large one in these. Uh, sometimes you don't see these for a very long time. I hadn't seen it for a long time. So when I saw it, I was like, let me grab one up because right now I am going through things. I'm shifting things and moving things in here and um, in my bedroom as well, you know. So this is what they look like, just in case you're interested. They look like this. This will hold a 12 by 12 paper pad very easily. If you're doing a project and you're keeping your paper pad, your ribbons, your supplies, your ephemera, your die cuts, and you're trying to keep it all together, you're making a page, you're working on an album, you're making a junk journal, whatever it is, you can put it all in here and it'll safely stay here. It has a nice handle. This is nice and thick. It's very heavy duty. And you see, yeah, it closes up really nice. These are also, if you like to buy these and get the large ones too, these are also fantastic to do what? Hold water in case of an emergency. You know, there's a hurricane, a tornado coming, some inclement weather, some funny, but some funny business is going on stuff that, you know, you're not feeling too good about. You want to have a backup form to collect water. You're in an apartment. You're in a place where you can't literally collect water outside. Um, there's, you know, situations. This is a good way. Remember, if there's an emergency, fill these bags up, line them up in a bathtub or a designated area, and you will have your backup water that you can boil and drink and use to bathe, to cook with and drink. Okay. Honestly, these are fabulous for that too. A lot of people forget that you can fill up these nice big bags for emergencies. That's like, that's a, a good one to have. Okay. I put this here. <laughs> then they brought back, who remembers this? Who remembers this little gem? Yeah, they brought this one back. It was over there next to the, um, it was next to the cash register. And I was like, oh, this is so stinking cute. I remember when they first brought these out. They were like, well, how many years ago? You guys tell me down below. You guys know how many years ago. So I was really excited to have found this again because I was like, I can use this. I can use this. So I think I'll put my rings in there and leave them in here because I keep jewelry. I keep, see my makeup holder right there. It's like I keep certain things in here so I don't have to keep going to the bedroom. All right. Then in the picture department... They had these, but they were all the way up on the top shelf, so I didn't know what they were. I had to, like, pull the box down. All I saw was this pretty blue, and it's like a cork. It's it's a, it's definitely um, a wood bead, but they look like cork. And they say, this one says, thankful really pretty tell me those colors aren't stunning this would be gorgeous even during the summertime if you you know if you got little pops of this really pretty blue going on and this is thankful then they have a gray one with that same cork look this is gather really pretty 
So if you're not a bright blue type of person, this really pretty tealy blue, they have this really pretty gray one that says gather. This also would be really, really nice to have like hanging off of a basket as a gift that they can then put on a door or put it on a wall and let it hang or however they want to use it. You can use this a lot of different ways. These are just so pretty and they feel so good in the hand. They do. They feel like really nice in the hand for some reason. Okay. Then also at checkout, I have another bag of stuff right here. <laughs> I can't forget it. Um, they had, it's called Big Sky. And these are mints and they're supposed to be cotton candy and they're sugar free. These were at checkout. These are made in Canada. And they're sugar free. I'm sorry. That's like one of my phones. <laughs> that noise you heard was my phone. I wonder where my phone is. I know I have, oh, that's what I wanted to share with you guys is, yeah, I got a grandbaby. Elias Samuel is here. He was born on the 12th. So we've been texting back and forth and make, here it is. Here's my phone. Here's my phone. And you guys asked me about my, um, I, you know, I, I switch out my phone cases. This actually has a little chain so it makes it look like a purse. Um, I get them from Shein, the phone cases, and this is an old iPhone six. They have really cool ones for the newer phones, girl. Yeah. I have a 15% off discount. If you guys want to use my code, um, check out one of my Shein hauls and you'll see. So there you go. They have some cotton candy mints. So I thought I'd give that a go. Yeah. And talking about mints, I know this is not a mint. But they still had some, so I bought two more of the Halls Soothing Sugar-Free Cool Berry Flavor. Um, Noah's throat was bothering him this week. And this is a oral, helps with um, throat irritation. And it has 20 drops. There you go. So he liked it, so I bought two more bags just for him. Okay, I do have books, but let me go through this bag right here. I have to set this one over to the side. Now, I got these microfiber uh, towels, these little, you know, to take off makeup. They had them in different colors. Um, so, yeah, I bought that for that. I just got to wash them now before I use them. So I got to throw that down the stairs so I can wash that. I got to wash it before I use it. Okay. Now, this is stuff from, oh, this is one of the gifts I got to put for the LOL. So they had the, the LOL. Um little gel pens so that's gonna go to the school too okay so let me i gotta put that in there with the five below stuff i just shared i got a sticker sticker anybody so this one is gorgeous so it has the arbor it has all these beautiful little you know plants little red boots and this is gonna be a really nice one for me to create something for my sister and even for my son, because he's been um, growing his own food indoors, he's actually grown it indoors, um, so I can make him a little card or something, and he would appreciate the fact that, you know, it's gardening related. And my sister, you guys have seen, okay, if you haven't seen the two videos I've done of her yard, the front and the back, I call it My Secret Garden. If you put Only In My Dreams, My Secret Garden, it will show up, and you'll see my sister, you'll see one of her sons in a video and um i've walked through her her yard and her backyard that she's been working on 20 plus years okay beautiful they do have the squishy avocado and it's like 3d i know it's cool right is this a slow rise or a quick rise it's a quick rise okay i like them normally when they're like slow but I'm okay with a quick. I'm okay with a quick. This one's going to sit in here with me because I'm into kawaii. Anything kawaii and cute. It's going to keep this little guy company. Okay. Right here. And he's sitting right next to my little gingerbread man. That um, the Rose Life gave to me. So there we go. There you go. You guys are going to sit right there. Now, in the gifting department, um, where they have the Christmas stuff, but also the kids' gifts, they had the two packs of the Silly Sense dough. Okay, so I did get these for my twins. 
They still play with Play-Doh. Yeah, they're nine and they still play with Play-Doh. Keep them, you know, entertained for as long as possible with little things like this while they still want to, you know. And so I got that for them. This is like stuff that everybody and their mother, everybody and their mother has hauled, but it just came to my area. This is the um, Butter Clouds Raspberry Scented Buttery Compound. Um, I only got one. They had all kinds of colors. It feels like there's like nothing in here. Um, but I picked up the blue just so they can try it, you know, but they had every single color. Yeah, they did. So there you go. Something that they can try out. And then they finally brought in the orb stretchy monkey. So this is a stretchy monkey. This is not Dollar Tree brand. This is name brand. And I got one for each one of them to go in their stockings. They had different colors. Ooh, they're kind of on the heavy side. There we go. And I got a purple. So I got a purple, the gray, and the brown. There we go. So they can play with them. And they feel like they have sand inside of them. They do. So hopefully by the time that they like bust, they'll do it while they're outside or something. <laughs> so I don't have to keep them picking up stuff. Now let's talk about books. I only have a little stack of books because their book game has been weak, honey. Their book game has been weak. So let me show you what I picked up this time around. I'm trying to build up my, um, my library again. I had donated uh, two years ago now. I want to say two years ago. It may have been one year. I'm saying one, one to two years ago, I donated like close to a hundred books. I got rid of them. I was done. I moved on, donated. So it's like I'm replenishing and it's nice to have books to read. Um, especially if there's ever some kind of event where you can't access the internet, you can't watch TV, you can't get on a computer, can't watch videos, you can't look up recipes, having a variety of reading material all the way from naturally he healing to cooking, to growing plants, to home repair, to gardening, to you name it, anything that you might need. It's good to have a book, a hardback book that you can reference if for any reason, any reason, including losing your job and having to cut off certain things because you just literally can't afford to have it anymore, that you can have references, okay? So this is a New York Best Time Seller. It's called The Iron Daughter. Is Love Betrayal, A Fairy World Gone Mad, The Iron Fae. So that one sounded really interesting. And it's retails, I don't know. It has a little sticker in the back. I don't, it's a Harlequin teen. I like teen books. Why, okay, youth, YT books. I like them. I think they're nice. I don't have to have adult books all the time. Uh, I read both. It's $9.99. So it retails for 10 bucks and it's Harlequin. So that's going to be a good one. Then I got a bouch. Wow, wow. So it looks a little, you know, like it might be a little naughty. I don't know. But it's called Amanda Ashley Knight's Illusion, a master of her craft. So this one retails for $8.99. There you go. Then this one looked very interesting as well. This is by Sherilyn Kenyon. This is called Chronicles of Nick illusion chronicles of nick illusion and it retails for 18.99 18.99 and then the last no i got two more then this one let me pull the sticker up so i can tell you how much it retails for i love it when i can buy a brand new book for like a dollar and some change honey there's nothing like it it's kind of weird. I'm always reading like more than one book at one time. I put one down and then I pick up another and then I go back and forth. Okay. This retails for US $16. This retails for $16. It's called The After Party by Anton Disclaf Disclafny. 
the after party. Okay. And then the last book I got for my kids, this is a kid's book. This is a League of Picky Eaters. It's a kid's book. So I got that for my kiddos to read. And this retails for $16.99. It's great to find hardback books for kids to read for $1.25. It's amazing. So I did cover everything here today. I hope you come back. I will be sharing a lot more with you. Dollhouse Miniatures. I'll be getting back into my junk journaling, mixed media, making cards, maybe doing some things with my stickers, trying to get a little bit more crafty and maybe even sewing, showing you while I'm sewing up some curtains or creating curtains for my dollhouses and other things um, besides prepping. I'll be getting back into that and showing you some of the deals that I'm picking up here and there and how I am securing my home. Okay, so thank you so much for coming by and I'll talk to you later. Bye.